and welcome to This episode we're going to do something fun and sweet A Jenga tower made out of shortbread Wow biscuits yeah so for my shortbread recipe I'm going to use this lovely book which is called just like mother used to make by Tom Laurent and Davies or Davis whichever he prefers and the shortbread recipe is on page 69 I'm gonna double it because I want to make a whole big Jenga tower let's get started press the button on for my doubled recipe you need 250 grams of butter that's usually a whole block I'm just gonna dice it up so it's easy to Mix. Oh. Then you need 12 ounces of plain flour. I don't have any plain flour and I've just looked it up and it's fine if you want to use self-raising flour. I think it will just be ever so slightly more salty because of the raising agents in your self-raising flour. Maybe it might get a bit bigger, but that's kind of okay for me because I need quite a lot of Jenga pieces. And four ounces of caster or granulated sugar. 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 Lovely, okay, good job. Okay, alright, great. Let the sugar go. Get your hand scissor, or you can do this by hand, but just do it whichever way you prefer. And I'm gonna go off piste and add a bit of vanilla extract. It's kind of bread crummy at the moment. It's really starting to come together now. Are you all done? Yeah! Your friend Thomas? Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Thomas Dancer, who has his own baby food processor. That's cool. I'm just gonna make it into a dough by hand now because my machine was getting a little bit tired. It's really come together. You see that? Nice. Really lightly dust your surface with some flour. So I'm just rolling it out into centimetre thickness. Stick some baking paper on a baking tray. And then I'm literally tracing around the pieces of Jenga. Vivi! Come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> At this point, do little pricks with a fork. I don't know why. My mum does this, so I will too. Now I'm going to cover these in cling film and chill them for at least 30 minutes. When you're ready to cook them, preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Take your cling film off and stick them in the oven for about 15 minutes. They cannot be hot. They are going to be hot. Right, it's been 12 minutes but they're looking pretty done. Look at that! <laughs> can, I, can I eat them? When they've cooled down a bit, I don't do not touch because that will be burny burny hot hot. Do we need some plate? Yeah. As I'm trying to describe, Can I eat you? Yeah, hang on a sec. <laughs> we need to let them cool. I mean, usually cookies are amazing when they're eaten fresh out of the oven. Shortbread, not so much. Uh, they crisp up a little bit once you have let them cool. So give them time, and then we're gonna stack them and rack them. Get yourself a serving plate or whatever you want to use. This is plate. This is our plate, isn't it? Some of my shortbreads have spread a little bit. I'm sure that that wouldn't be the case if I'd have used plain flour. But to be honest, it really doesn't matter that much. Look, they're still lovely. Because they're quite spread, maybe two by two is better. Two by two. Yummy, yummy, yummy. yummy. Look at that big tower. Ta-da! My measurements didn't really work out to be three by three. Don't touch them. Oh, sorry. So I think first of all, we need to play a game of Jenga. Do you want to play? That's cheating. <laughs> what do you think? Nice. It's not yours, oh. it's mine. It maybe needed one minute less in the oven. Oh, you want me to share yours? Yeah. Uh, mm. Oh, yummy. Oh, I did good. Yummy. Don't forget, you can have these with yogurt, ice cream. They're really good for dipping into things like mousses and other puddings. Or just to enjoy with a nice cup of tea. Jenga! Shortbread. Delicious. 
Thanks a billion for watching this episode of Tickly Mouth. I really hope you enjoyed it. Jenga is a classic game. You can play it next time and it will be nostalgic and delicious at the same time. Don't forget to share to all your friends, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye. Bye.